Hey YouTubers, it's that van guy again with another Hot Wheels casting spotlight, and this is also going to be a Corgi casting spotlight. This particular casting started life as a Corgi, and then Corgi was bought for a time by Mattel, so it became a Hot Wheels casting. Uh, and then it was also sold in Brazil by a company called Kiko. So I'm going to be sharing a lot of information in this video, um, trying to be as accurate as possible from my information that I've researched on the internet, uh, using the uh, Hot Wheels Wikia and also the um, Tex South Texas Diecast uh, casting database. Uh, both of those sources are not complete, so I don't have information on everything and nothing is going to be exact. Uh, if you do have any information on this casting, uh, I would encourage you to share it in the comments below. I would really love to know uh, any information that I had wrong or any additional information that I'm not familiar with. I've been collecting these for quite a while and uh, just doing my research and trying to find them online on eBay and other places to buy them or trading them with other van casting collectors. Uh, that's how I've acquired this info. So like I said, it might be, I might have some mistakes or something might not be exactly accurate. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments if that's the case. Uh, first, we'll start off with a little um, description from the Hot Wheels Wikia, uh, Hot Wheels Wiki. And uh, this custom hot rod van, that's the name of this casting. The casting name is Custom Hot Rod Van. Uh, based on a Dodge D300 van, a camper variation called the Sportsman. Although Mattel acquired Corgi in 1989, models never mixed until 1993, when there were several Corgi castings found in the Hot Wheels lineup. This was quite short-lived, though, although similar in appearance to cu the custom 77 Dodge van, but with a raised roof line to give slightly more interior space, as well as a motorsport styled front air dam. This model is a former Corgi casting, and they are in fact two different cars. Cast into the back of this particular van is a ladder and a spare wheel, or spare tire. This casting replicates a camper variation of the Dodge vans of the 70s and 80s, that were available to buyers in North America. So as you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit further. Uh, the ones in the case behind me are all, or in the background, are all uh, the Hot Wheels versions. But we're gonna check out all the Corgi versions first. And uh, with this particular casting, it's, it's a cool van, but it doesn't really know what it wants to be, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of uh, like a race car style at first. It's got the uh, front ground effects and air dam. And it's got like louvers in the front hood. So it looks uh, very racy and custom. It looks like it has fender flares. And it also has chrome side pipes on both sides. But then the custom touches are the, uh, the raised roof line. That was like a, a custom thing in the 70s where people would like modify the roof and make it custom. Um, and put like uh, skylight windows in and stuff like that. You can see there's like a porthole window on the graphic. It's not actually cast into the body, but it's part of the graphic. It's supposed to look like a little uh, tinted porthole window in the back. And then a lot of conversion vans. <clears throat> it might not be that easy to see. I'll try to hold it in the light so you can see the difference cause on this black one. It's a little harder to see, but... Uh, it's got the spare wheel or spare tire on the back, which is common in conversion vans, like camper slash conversion vans. Also a lot of camper slash conversion vans or custom vans. It was popular to have that ladder in the back so they could put um, luggage or extra gear on top of the van. And normally when they had this ladder in the back, it would have like a little U-shaped... Uh, chrome bar kind of like a, a luggage rack kind of a thing so the ladder was there so you could climb up to put stuff on the 
roof rack for extra storage. So on these uh, 70s conversion vans, the spare tire look on the back and the ladder was really popular, but, uh, you know, it, it looks kind of racy as well with the, uh, the louvers in the hood and the front air dam and the side pipe. So it's definitely a super custom and to its name, uh, custom hot rod van. So it's custom, it's a hot rod and it's super cool. And I just started collecting these and I have quite a few and we're going to go through all of them today. That's just a little bit about the, the casting itself. Uh, first we'll go through and we'll shoot right through all these, uh, Corgi brand vans first. And I'll try to share some of the info that I have. Uh, Corgi was the brand. And the line, I believe, was Corgi Juniors. So on a lot of the packaging, it would say Corgi Juniors on, on this particular uh, van. Try to get it focused a little bit better. Um, in the information that I found, it said 155th scale. But it doesn't seem like a 155th scale to me. I have 150th scale vans. And they're pretty big. And this seems very close to a 164 scale van. If you were to put like a custom 77 Dodge van uh, next to it, which is uh, ones that I have uh, in the background in the case there, that's the custom 77 Dodge van. If you were to put that together with this, um, they'd be very similar in size. So I, don't, I think the scale, the listing for it, what scale it is, I think it's a little bit off. Um, and then the, obviously the name of the casting is Hot Rod Custom Van, four words. So this first one is the first one released according to the info that I could find on the internet. Uh, this black version with the Vantastic uh, graphics and uh, these older versions have a sticker on. This one has got a sticker, it's just a sticker on the side. It's not actually painted on. And they changed that in later years. This one was made in Great Britain. And it was made around 1980 to 1981. A lot of the years that I have are a little bit questionable as far as when they are produced. I don't have an exact date. It's kind of a rough range. And this one was, if I can get a shot of the bottom, you can see it says Corgi there. And Hot Rod Custom Van. And then it says made in Great Britain. So some of these are made in Great Britain. Uh, a few of them were made in Brazil and a few of, and quite a few were made in China in the later years. So uh, that's how you can kind of tell which ones are the early ones. So this one was made in Great Britain around 1980, 1981. Okay, next up we have, uh, this was the first release, I believe, uh, second release around and again the dates that i have are kind of uh, a rough guess it's not exact based on the info i found on the internet uh this uh version is the yellow and with the black hood and the four-wheel drive graphics and stripes on the side so it's an all yellow van with a black grill front air dam and hood and then it's got the 4wd graphics with the stripes on the side this one was made in great britain around 1983 i believe it was produced I'll give you a shot of the bottom you can see made in great britain hot rod custom van corgi and i'll try to show some of the bottoms of these so that you can kind of uh you know see proof of which ones were made uh where because there's a little bit of discrepancy on the internet and some uh some websites uh this next one is a white uh police tactical force uh release made in green great britain uh released around 1983 this one's in played with condition uh, i had a friend uh on a van site uh send me one from germany so this one came to me from germany some of these are really hard to find especially the ones that were made in great britain the older ones are just not very common in the u.s and if you do happen to find one in the u.s maybe on ebay uh they go for big bucks so next up we have this black with the pink 
A-Team style stripes. This one was also made in Great Britain and released somewhere between 1985 and 1988. And this is a nice clean example. Still another uh, Great Britain release up underneath where it says Corgi. Hopefully you can see that. Made in Great Britain. Next up we have this uh, red Coca-Cola Turbo Racing Team uh, example. This one was made in Great Britain as well uh, in 1985. And this one was a set exclusive, I believe. I believe it came with a couple other vehicles. Some other uh, Coca-Cola branded racing vehicles. Might have been like a two or a three pack or something like that. Um, but this one is a pretty cool one. This one you see fairly common on eBay. You can find this one pretty easily, this red Coca-Cola race team. Uh, again, released around 1985, set exclusive. And this one is uh, one of the ones that was made in Great Britain. All right, next up we have... This last one that I have in my personal collection that was also made in Great Britain, this white version uh, with the British and the U.S. flags on it. This was, uh, I'm not sure, this was not listed on any, either of the websites that I, uh, databases for this casting, this particular version, so there wasn't much information on it as far as what year it was produced or released. Um, but it, it was made in Great Britain according to the cast on the bottom. So I would think that would put it somewhere around 1985 or or maybe 86. But there wasn't any info on it. And this is a pretty cool one. It's got the two flags. So you can see, made in Great Britain. That's it for the made in Great Britain ones. Next up, we're going to talk about the uh, Corgi casting hot rod custom van, but we're going to uh, talk a little bit about uh, the ones that were released and uh, made and released in Brazil, which are pretty hard to find. I've only seen one on eBay, and the guy was asking crazy money for it. Um, there were uh, five different variations uh, that were released uh, by Kiko. That's K-I-K-O from Brazil. So these were made, uh, the, all of these that I'm going to show you, unfortunately, I don't own any in my personal collection. So I'm just going to have to show you uh, pictures of these from the internet. Um, but I'll talk a little bit about it and then I'll show the, the little uh, picture that I have from the internet. Uh, the first one uh, of this Kiko Brazil versions was this uh, yellow... Uh, danger van with the yellow sticker released around 1985 uh, listed as a standard issue made in brazil with the corgi 10 spoke wheels okay next up we have the uh also another yellow danger van but this one is a little variation it has a white sticker uh the first one i showed had a yellow sticker this one has the white sticker which is more common of the sticker variation this was also made around 1985 Made in Brazil, listed as a standard issue, but with five-spoke wheels. So it has a different wheel on it. It's a five-spoke instead of the ten-spoke. And it also has the, it's on the print, uh, the danger graphic is printed on a white sticker instead of the yellow sticker. Next up, we have the third variation of this danger van. This one is listed as dark yellow. in the uh, information I found online. So there's a, a color variation of this dark yellow danger van 
also with the white sticker released around 1985, made in Brazil, listed as a standard issue with five-spoke wheels. So there's three different versions of this Danger Van made in Brazil. Uh, one with a 10-spoke wheel and a yellow sticker, and then two, two with the white sticker with five-spoke wheels, but one is a yellow and one is a dark yellow. Next up, we have the fourth uh, release uh, made in Brazil, uh, this picture here. This is the black uh, Marvel Comics design, which says read Marvel Comics on it with a couple Marvel Comic heroes released Again, around 1985, made in Brazil, listed as a standard issue with five-spoke wheels. That's the black Read Marvel Comics version. And then, last but not least, is this Silver Tivoli Park version. Made in Brazil... This one is a limited limited edition promotional version with the five spoke wheels. It was listed as sold loose, uh, not carded, and it was probably sold loose at the theme park in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So this is probably something that was sold at the theme park, uh, named it Tivoli Park. I believe it was in uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, but it is no longer open it's kind of probably something like uh, uh, Disney World or uh, Great America or Six Flags type uh, roller coaster theme park and it was called Tivoli Park and it says it has the Tivoli Park graphics on it in, and the vehicle is silver and it was listed as a limited edition promotional probably only sold at the theme park so that's it for the Brazil produced versions, a total of five different variations or versions. That'll be it for the Brazil releases. Okay, now we'll switch to the China releases, which were uh, the first China re release was somewhere around 1985 to 1988 or so, estimated date. This is the uh, yellow with the black stripes, kind of an A-team style stripe. This one's in played with condition. Let me zoom out just a hair. Uh, so yeah, this is the yellow with the black A-team style stripes. Uh, this one was the first one in my personal collection made in China, I believe, according to the information I found on the internet. The uh, estimated date of release was from 1985 to 1988 on this one. And this is the first one listed on the bottom, made in China. So if you look at the little bar underneath where it says Hot Rod Custom Van, it's kind of hard to make out because it is very small. But it says made in China. I'm trying to rotate it so the light catches it just right. Hopefully you can see that made in China. So that's the first release in my personal collection. According to the info I found on the internet that was made in China. Uh, next up we have this blue and white uh, number 15 team racing uh, made in China around 1989. And they have quite a few of these race uh, livery uh, vans, which is cool. But if it was a race van, I don't think they'd keep the spare tire and the ladder on the back. Just my personal opinion. It's got the 15 on top, and then you can see it says Made in China on the bottom. All right, and these are all still Corgis. We're going to get to the, the Hot Wheels uh, at the end here. Next up, we have this uh, green and white Fuji Film Racing Team. 
This is, uh, I'm not sure if this was sold individually or if it was a set exclusive. Because I have seen it, I know for sure it came in a large set with a bunch of other race vehicles and a couple little uh, race race car driver figurines and some little plastic cones. It was like a big, huge set. I've seen it on eBay. Um, and this one was made in China somewhere around 1992. With this green and white Fujifilm racing team. Again, I'm not sure if this was sold individually. I found this one loose. I didn't take it out of the packaging, so I'm not really sure if this... But I know it did come in a set. So either it was just a set exclusive or it was sold both ways. Next up, we have uh, a really cool one. This is uh, another uh, awesome race version. This is uh, the red, yellow, and green Ferrari. And this is a set exclusive. I know for a fact because I had to buy the set to get this one. So this was another big, uh, huge pack that came with multiple vehicles and, and little plastic cones and little driver figurines and some other stuff, little signs and stuff. Um, this one was made in China, and this one was released around 1993. And I took this one out of the packaging. That's why it's in such mint condition. Hopefully you can see the made in China on the bottom. But really cool Ferrari version. Uh, next up, we have this black and white uh, SWAT version made in China around 1995 or so. It's got, some of these also uh, have metal bases and some have plastic bases. It's kind of obvious. The ones that are plastic, they just look like a gray plastic, but there are a few that are metal. Um, and in the process of showing you the bases, hopefully you could see that, see the difference. You could probably see the corrosion on the bottom so you know it's the uh, metal base this one has some graphics on top nypd number 60 and then we'll check out the bottom there's a little nypd police on the door there and then you can see made in china all right we're getting down to the end of the corgi ones that i have in my collection um, this next one is the red and blue uh, number 30 team racing also made in China uh, This one was not in any of the databases on the internet that I could find so there wasn't any information as far as uh, When it was produced So I'm not sure when which what year or when this one was released uh, I think I found this one on eBay and bought it loose and played with condition as you can see it's uh this one looks like it's got the metal base and made in China. So, pretty cool version. And then last one, I just re I just received it today in the mail. This is one I found on eBay. Uh, I have never saw it before. It was never on any databases or anything. When I happened to see it on eBay, I jumped on it. So there might be a few out there that I don't know about that aren't on any databases, aren't listed on the internet. That I haven't seen so if you guys know have any of the info please share in the comments and let me know I'd be thrilled to find out more about this casting but this is the two-tone purple two different purple colors there and it has like some gold uh, metallic gold uh, graphics it says auto sport on the side and it has the number 92 uh, I'm not sure if that's what maybe what year it was released because I don't have any information as far as when it was released or what year it was made and this one uh, according to the base was made in China so this is another one that I just uh, you don't see often and this one shipped from the UK a lot of these uh, it's a lot easier to find these corgis in Britain or the UK um, than it is to find these in the US so and this one is, you can see, made in China on the bottom, underneath Hot Rod Custom Van. This one looks like it has, feels like it's got the metal base. And then, last, lastly, the one that, one I do not have, that's listed on the South Texas Diecast database, um, is this dark orange version.
kind of looks red to me. I'm not really sure. I've never seen one in person. Uh, but it's listed as dark orange. Uh, there's no design and or gr graphics on it whatsoever. It's just a plain color. Uh, it was listed on the database as made in China. And it was also listed as a pre-production photo. So I'm not sure if this one was actually released and sold to the public. Uh, because it's listed, the picture that they had on the database was a pre-production photo or pre-production sample. So it might never actually have been sold to the public. And this might just be uh, a picture of a, a prototype. And I don't have any information about what year it was released or sold. Uh, you know, the information is spotty at best on this particular version. So that's it for the Corgi versions that I'm aware of. Okay, next up, we're down to the Hot Wheels versions. This is after uh, Corgi was acquired by Mattel. And Mattel decided to release some of these hot rod or these custom hot rod vans uh, under the Hot Wheels brand. So you got the Hot Wheels graphics on this one. This is the first one in my uh, personal collection. As far as I know, this is the first release. Uh, this came out around 1993, and this some of these uh, it, this information was got from the Hot Wheels Wiki uh, website or app, and. Uh, so some of the information I'm, I'm going by is from there. Not sure if it's 100% accurate, but it's the information that I, all I can find on the internet. <clears throat> so this is the first release of the custom hot rod van with the Hot Wheels name on the bottom. Uh, this was released in 1993, and this is a playset exclusive in the Stow and Go gas station. A uh, tiny little playset. Uh, had a little box window on top that showed the vehicle that came with it. It was a set exclusive. They did a lot of these uh, stow and go um, little diorama playset pieces, which came with a vehicle and it came with a tiny little playset. Uh, this is the black uh, with the red, yellow, white, large Hot Wheels logo racing team. And uh, it's got a gray plastic base. Uh, black tinted window. Uh, the wheel type is still a Corgi wheel. And uh, this one was made in China. Playset exclusive. Now they had another one that was very similar. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you is the same exact graphic, basically, but in blue. Uh, this one was released in 1994 in the blue enamel with the uh, Hot Wheels logo racing team on the sides. And notice that this one says Dunlop on it, the uh, sponsorship graphics on the back. There is a variation to this one. There was one released that did not have the Dunlop graphic on it. It has everything else but not the Dunlop wording on it. And I also have that one as well. Uh, they were both released in 1994. Um, I think I'll just scooch this one over a little bit. And set the other one on it so you can kind of compare it. See how it doesn't say Dunlop right above where the Champion uh, logo is behind the Hot Wheels Flame logo? It, it just is blank there. It's just white. And the one coming around here on the turntable, that one has the Dunlop uh, lettering or graphics above the Champion logo there. So one has the Dunlop, and then there's another variation. Um, that does not have the Dunlop. So I have both variations from this blue enamel one released in 1994. Everything else is the same. Uh, window color, no interior, same wheel type, both made in China, uh, all the same. And uh, I'll just uh, show you the bottom. Forgot to show the base. Corgi hot rod custom van made in China. but. This is during the transitional years where uh, it has the Hot Wheels branding on it, but it still says Corgi on the bottom. There are a few that actually say Hot Wheels on the bottom, but this is in the transitional stage. Uh, here's the black. I shot of the, the bottom of the black one. 
see how this one says Hot Wheels. So it's kind of odd how some say Hot Wheels and some say Corgi. You can see it says Made in China there, Hot Rod Custom Van. This one says Hot Wheels. This blue one says Corgi. And then I'll show you this other blue one. And this one says Hot Wheels. So there is also, besides the the two, uh, besides the Dunlop difference, on the base one says Hot Wheels, one says Corgi. So there's another difference between those two. Those are from 1994. Uh, next up we got a really cool one. This is one of my favorites from the Hot Wheels versions. It's got cool Hot Wheels, much better Hot Wheels wheels. Uh, the wheels and tires from Hot Wheels are just much better than Corgi, in my opinion. This was from, uh, this was released in 1997. This purple version with the, this is a Chuck E. Cheese exclusive. Uh, I'm not sure if it was sold at the Chuck E. Cheese restaurants exclusively or if it was sold in stores as well. Uh, there is quite a few of these. Really cool version, all purple with the yellow, orange, and red flames and Chuck E. Cheese on the sides. Um, window color, solid black, no interior. This one's got the, the classic uh, five-spoke Hot Wheels wheels, made in China. And uh, this one is fairly common, pretty easy to find on eBay. Hot Rod Custom Van, made in China with the Hot Wheels logo on the bottom. And then last but certainly not least, this is probably the coolest Hot Rod Custom Van ever released, in my opinion. Uh, it's the most detailed, and it's the only one with real rider tires. Uh, this is the last one released of this casting. This is from the 1998 J.C. Whitney release in this Metal Flake Aqua with gold, black, and blue and J.C. Whitney graphics on it. Uh, gold plastic base, black tinted window, no interior, and uh, the wheel type is the gold hub with real riders, and this one was made in China. This one was available only from J.C. Whitney, so I think this was an exclusive sold by J.C. Whitney, and you could only get it straight from them, but you can see the extra detail this would be probably the most premium release of all the custom hot rod vans. Just take a look at the taillight detail, how the ladder is painted. It's got like a license plate and a bumper sticker on the back. It's got a conversion van windows painted on it with a reflection. It says J.C. Whitney on both sides. You got uh, the fog lights and the front air dammer painted and the headlights and grill. So this one is super detailed and probably the most uh, the most detailed and coolest custom hot rod van ever made, in my opinion. It's got the Hot Wheels logo on the bottom. This one's made in China. And you can see it's got the uh, Real Rider Gold Hub Real Rider tires with the tread. And to my knowledge, this has got a plastic base. To my knowledge, this is the only custom hot rod van ever to be released from the manufacturer with real rider rubber tires. I'm sure there are some uh, customizers out there that have done customs with these and have uh, put real riders on them, but this is the only one ever released to my knowledge that had real rider tires. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you found it informational. A lot of information to go through. A lot of different, you know, some are Hot Wheels, some are Corgi, some are Kiko, some are made in Brazil, China, Great Britain. So lots of information to share. Hopefully I got most of it right. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it informational. Uh, hopefully it helps you find the ones you're looking for. And uh, if you have any additional information, please feel free to share it in the comments below. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. As always, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my Facebook page, That Van Guy.